Oh, fine fat flea, how a little town adores thee and puts thee on a pedestal or runs ye up a pole. That's it. Song of the Flea. It's a lofty opera score about a king and his fine fat flea. Here's a small town southern mayor and his big bulgy eyed bug. Three feet tall, 20 some pounds. It's a flea fit for a king. Foam, plywood, and wire, and had a local lady that does sewing. She put some effort into it. Turned out pretty good. A little bit. Charles McLaurin is mayor of the town once known as Flea Hill. This is a sandy area, and consequently, fleas like a sandy area. So I kind of picked up the name Flea Hill. Oh, you should have seen it Sundays down at the church. Animals would get into the church. Consequently, the church got infested with fleas. Story goes, the preacher would open the Bible with one hand and scratch fleas with the other. By mercy, the fleas have fled. Flea Hill became Eastover nearly a century ago and incorporated as a town in 2007. Now a tradition is raised, dropping a flea on New Year's. Well, I think it needs to go back to your heritage, too, and that's what we did. We, we, we had to do something a little, maybe a little quirky, but it's worked out pretty good. They need to name this little critter, don't they? Well, the town is having a contest, and you should see some of the submissions. General Robert E. Flea, Kathy Flea Gifford, Marty McFlea. A company in Kansas even sent the town a thousand inflatable fleas in honor of this decidedly down-to-earth song of the flea.